presentation make up. Then just a little bit of final notes, little things to just remember, and then afterwards we can go ahead and head on to questions. Okay, so this is the basic color wheel we have. I, I shop at Utrecht a lot, a lot for being an artist as well as a cosplayer. I know I can get it cheaper. I know I can. I just know they always have it. But that is basically the average color wheel. Um, a lot of people like to go ahead and fight and say that even though this is the wrong color wheel, a lot of people like to use magenta, cyan, and yellow. It's true. That is the true color form that they'll go ahead and they'll punch into your throat in art school. Trust me. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to simplify it for today and just go with the basic elementary Roy G. Big stuff today. So, of course, our primaries are red, yellow, and blue. Our secondaries are when you take two primaries together and you make a secondary color. So that's green, orange, and purple. And then our tertiaries are the ones that are in the middle that don't have as cool a name, I have to say. Um, it's always with one primary and one secondary color. So you take, and it's always, whenever you name them, the primary's color is always the first part of that. So that's why it's red, orange. That's why it's red, purple, or yellow, green. Purple. Or blue purple. Hmm? Purple. Yeah. All right. So that. So I'm going ahead and when it comes to makeup, for a white, gray, and black, they use different terms for it. They use highlights, tints, and shades. Basically, when you go ahead and you use white, it's highlights. With gray, it's tints, and with black, it's shadows. And browns are usually your neutrals. But I really don't like that term those terms because it doesn't really explain it well enough for me. So I like to go ahead and call them more of like value versus saturation. Now value is like the brightness of a color. It's like fire engine red when it's at 100% value. And then like 20% is like, uh, it's like twist. Different than it. Right. Uh, whereas saturation is like intensity. Of a color. So that's like either hot rod red versus like a light pink, which would be the 20% of saturation. It's just how much color that you use in there. Another thing too is that triad. Triad is when you go ahead and you take three colors that make a perfect equilateral triangle on the color field. Analog is when you use two colors side by side. And monochromatic is when you have an entire set that's only using different values and saturations of one color. These are actually really good for both, and you see this in a lot of design as well. Uh, let's see, if you're into anime, anybody watch Bleach? Okay, that one, yeah. I know, right? Who doesn't watch Tsunami? <laughs> now, that one totally kick-ass black chick, uh, Yoruichi Shion. She has a really, really long purple hair. You see everybody posing at Otakon. And she always has these really sharp yellow eyes. And not only that, she's always, when you see her in pictures, a lot of times she has a nice red background. But you see the hints of blue in her hair, the yellow and the red, that's a perfect uh, triad. And then, of course, analog, you can see, actually, it's actually uh, Ruby? Yeah. Got it. She's actually a very good monochromatic, but she's because she's actually using different cues. Can you start up and give this a tour over me? I know it's not your character. You're more kick-ass than that. There you go. Awesome. Exactly. Because she's using a little bit of like a red violet in her clothes, but also she has the hot rod red for her face as well. That's more analog. And of course, monochromatic is actually her. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Now, contrasting and neutralization is actually kind of tricky. Uh, when it comes to contrasting, you have contradictory colors on the color wheel that are exactly opposite of each other. So, of course, you have red and green, and then you have like orange and blue and yellow and purple all the time. So, there. What it is, though, is that a lot of people tend to say, don't use 50 50. Because when you use 50% saturation on each of those colors, when you put them side by side, there's like a weird vibrating line in between and it just makes your eyes go crazy and makes you hate it. I guess that's why some people hate Christmas. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that's usually what happens when you have that. So sometimes what you can do to go ahead and really up it a little bit is that you take the saturation down into one and it makes the other one pop. It makes the other one stand out. So you can have like a nice green 
a uh, nice green setting in the background. You're in the middle of, wood, of the woods, like it's really Bambi stuff. And then you have one red flower. That one red flower is going to stand out aside from all of the trees and all of the green and all that stuff like that. And that's a good sort of for uh, contradictory. But you can also use that for neutral and especially in makeup. So when you have a lot of redness, for example, in your, if you have acne breakout, and you have a cosplay shoot for like two hours, just go ahead, you can go and you can dab a little bit of green on there to neutralize the discoloring in your skin. Uh, a lot of people can use this when they're trying to hide tattoos as well, whenever their cosplay doesn't match the tattoo. Um, what else? Can you try Another thing too, actually, is that when you have bags on your you have hints of blue in there as well, so you can use a little bit of orange and then put concealer on it and it's perfectly fine. The thing is though, that it's good to try and have these like these little hints of yourself and to really try and analyze your face. Because when it comes to cosplay, it's not just the costume. You're not gonna have you're not gonna paint an entire canvas and then just leave one square blank. You're not gonna finish a jigsaw, you know, have an entire jigsaw puzzle and then like two pieces of missing. Unless you know you're you're really pissed off at it because it took you so long to do it, but you have to, like to go ahead and complete the look. Sometimes makeup is a necessity. 